Hello everybody, it's Brandon again from High Gear Transmissions here in Memphis, Tennessee. Today I want to talk to you about the common problems and fixes in the GM transfer case, the GM246. This transfer case was in GM trucks 1500 from 1999 to 2006. And the most common problem that we see with it is that they burn up. They uh, leak all the fluid out, they get dry, they get hot, the clutch pack burns up, the planetary burns up, the forks melt, and all that kind of crap. And all that is due to one problem, which has to do with this rear case half. <clears throat> this rear case half is made out of magnesium, and the pump that sits in this rear case half that is supposed to pump oil to the rest of the unit is made out of aluminum. So what happens is, it wears a pinhole on the inside here, which I'm about to show you, and fluid leaks out. It leaks out very slowly. So you don't see a drip, you don't see a puddle underneath your truck. It just leaks out, it blows away, and then after a while, you're left with a unit with no oil in it, and it burns up. So, the pump, Sits in like this, and the main shaft, the output shaft here, spins, of course, to actuate the pump, and when it does, it puts constant pressure on one side of the case, and that constant pressure and vibration wears holes into the case, it creates a wear pattern in the case, and when it does, it creates a tiny pinhole right here. It'll do it all the way around. There's another one right here. Another one right here. That's uh, three different pinholes it looks like in this one case half. Anyway, <clears throat> from the factory, they actually come with a clip that sticks onto this little nipple. It sticks on here, goes down, makes a little square shape, and then the pump sits down inside of that. Well, that clip is made out of a thin metal, and after a while, this pump eats through it, and it breaks off, and then it's just exposed to the magnesium case half and wears pinholes in it. Now, what we do to fix that is we actually install a pump plate. This pump plate is made out of a thicker, metal material than the, <clears throat> than the factory uh, case saver pin or whatever you want to call it. And it sits on the pump and uh, when it sits on the pump it covers the pump entirely. It sits down inside the case. like that. Takes up space, creates a little bit of uh, extra tension in there to hold the pump in place, but it also won't allow that pump to eat into the case. Now, <clears throat> your clutch pack is made up of 10 clutches and 10 steels, so one on top of the other, and then you have to shim the top of it in order to get the right amount of play, but they will burn up quick, fast, and in a hurry. This is what they look like new. This is what they look like burn up. You can see that inside here, this bearing here is eaten up. Likewise, this um, planetary assembly, I mean, it's just, it's all just dust. There's almost no oil, very little oil residue. You can see the teeth are chewed up. Now if you're lucky enough to have caught your transfer case before it has any pinholes, then you can put that, uh, that pump plate, case saver plate in there and it will stop the problem. However, if you are having it rebuilt, what we do at high gear is we put a brand new rear case half made out of aluminum, not magnesium, on every one. And we also put that pump plate in there. This aluminum 
is much tougher than this magnesium and this pump plate is going to completely fix that problem. Another quick note on Chevy trucks, Chevy and GM trucks, 2500 and 3500 from 99 to 07 there came two different units. The 261 which is a manual shift and the 263 which is an electronic shift. They had both light duty and heavy duty units that are very similar but they have the same case, they have the same pump, and the same problem. So it's not just your 1500 trucks, but your 2500 and your 3500 trucks as well. You need to get up underneath there and get with a flashlight and a rag, wipe off that case right around here like we showed you, and see if you have any pinholes. If you do, then you need to pull that transfer case out and you need to take a look at it. If you don't, then consider yourself lucky and pull it out anyway and put a pump plate in it because it will go bad eventually. Anyway, that's it for this week's uh, tip, high gear tip, high gear tip of the week. Anyway, if you have any questions, please feel free to call us at high gear. Our number is 1-800, uh, what is our number? 1-800-323-6211. <laughs> anyway, my name is Brandon. You can ask for me or you can ask for anybody here. Anybody can help you. If you like the video, uh, Please subscribe, hit like, and hopefully we'll be trying to do a video a week. So tune in next week. I'm going to show you how to identify your transfer cases via the tag that is on every one. Thanks for watching.